Well, hello. Today, I am trying out my wireless microphone again. I tried a few things. I got it to work, so we'll find out if it works on the video. But we're also going to... Oops. And I got to watch, because this isn't really a microphone shirt. Um, we're also going to get my first impressions of what I'm going to call the Rex Pen Brown, because I don't have a model name for it. This is a Croatian pen, and uh, kind of reminds me of a few other pens. So let's take a look at it. All right, so this is my Rex pen. I, like I said, I don't know the model or anything, but I think these brushed steel pens were more popular at one time. You know, here's a East German Marcant, kind of the same deal. And I actually will be filming in this batch of videos a uh, Pevdi here, which also has that same basic design. <clears throat> but this one has a few neat surprises, so let's take a look at it. So first of all, on the outside, we have a little, let's turn it here so you can read it. We have a little branding on the cap, Rex Pen. That's part of the Toes Pen Cala. Uh, we have an R for Rex Pen. I wonder if, I'm thinking Rex Pen may have been the name they used when they exported. I'm suddenly drawing a blank. Uh, uncap it. Now that's a little different. I actually kind of like that. Uh, has a plastic section which I always prefer that to metal sections. And this little bit of plastic here, the lip. Yeah, when plastic and metal interact, I kind of expect that. So, you know, although this looks good, I'm not sure in terms of longevity how it's going to do. Open it up. And it's a cartridge converter pen. So uh, one of the troubles I always have with these vintage pens is, well, what converter do I use? So I have a selection here of different converters, and hopefully one of them will fit. So my first one I'm going to try... Ooh, actually that's Cross. I think Cross is proprietary. I may be wrong, but I think it is. So let's try whatever this converter is. Looks like it should be compatible. Oh yeah, first one I tried. Perfect. So, sort of, ooh, I think it's a Rotring converter. So let's try it out with what else? Some Parker Quink. Oops. Some Parker Quink washable blue. Actually, before we do that, let maybe it'd be nice to spend a minute looking at the nib, which I kind of skipped. <laughs> So this pen needed some cleaning when I got it. I flushed it with uh, pen flush and so on. I do that with most of my vintage pens because you never know where they've been. Uh, but it wasn't in particularly bad shape or anything. It's just normal cleaning. I don't even remember flushing any ink out of it. So it had been cared for. I'll open this up. I am running low on this Parker Quink washable blue, so... Luckily, if you've been following this channel, you know I've got a new bottle. And that's usually a bad sign. When I can't pull any ink up. So, it could be the converter. It could be uh, the pen. But clearly something's wrong. So, I've got a couple different converters here. We'll just try a different one. Okay, the fact that this doesn't even want to go on is a pretty bad sign to me. I don't even know what that one was. Here's a different sort of converter. This is a slide converter I took out of a Chinese pen. Okay, that doesn't want to go on. What else have I got here? Maybe I will end up trying the... I'm just going to try this one again. I think, oh yeah, okay, so it could have been the converter was bad, it could have been just uh, the converter couldn't sit, you know, I'll have to try that converter, I've got a few pens, I'm, I'm batch reviewing a bunch of pens today, so I'll try that converter again in a different pen, and we'll find out if it's the, ooh, I inked myself, good thing it's washable blue. So we'll find out later if uh, the converter's the problem or something else. I, I see I've used the converter before, 
Ooh, that's going to be tight. I didn't think of that. Um, because, <laughs> and there's another problem. Okay, great. So, <laughs> the uh, barrel does not fit over the converter. Darn it! <laughs> this is just getting better and better. Alrighty, so I need a different converter here. Okay, I'm actually going to try this cross converter. Oh, nope. This is going to be a situation! <laughs> All right, here's another one just like the one that failed. And let's just make sure. Hmm. Doesn't even want to go in there. All right. Back to the drawing board with different converters. We'll go see what else is back there. Worst case, I may slip a cartridge into it. So, yes, I do have a box of converters. And I have a box of cartridges. So we'll look at the converters first. See if there's something a little different, maybe, that I could put in there. Uh, I'm pretty sure the pilot ones won't fit. Which I seem to have a plethora of pilot ones. Here's a Parker... Nope. Okay, a Caveco squeeze converter, but I hate it. Great! Schaefer, I know, will not fit. Hmm. I definitely am high on the sailor end, or I mean pilot end. So, <clears throat> let's abandon the idea of using a converter. Let's see if there's a cartridge that fits. So some of these, there should be some Parker washable blue in here, I'm thinking. I have all kinds of converters or cartridges of different brands and just kind of a mishmash. Um, well, how about I be smart? Huh, I don't know what brand that is. I'm going to be smart. Caveco is a just a plain, ordinary, standard international cartridge. So I'm going to see if I can stick a Caveco cartridge in there. Yeah, I don't see anything, really. Okay, I think that's good enough. It's It better be. So, you've seen a first here on the Waski Squirrel Pen Channel. Oops, well, I'll put them away later. Don't normally like cartridges, and uh, couldn't even use my beloved... So, this is going to be kind of a mix. So, this is a... Uh, Rex Pen. We'll just call it a Rex Pen Brown. It feels a little, I don't know, short. It really, I mean, it posts, but not like the most securely. Uh, the ink in it then is a mix of Lamy Blue. But right now, we're probably still flushing out Parker Washable Blue. Uh, as far as Flex, 
Sometimes, yeah, it's got a little bounce, but it's not what I'd call a flex nib. Uh, I don't really care for these ridges as much as I thought I would. Uh, wetness and flow. Uh, I'm feeling some friction on the paper too. It's, it's like it's a little sluggish writing across uh, the smear test. Not super wet, not bad. Uh, wetness and flow. Reverse writing. Um, still feels very frictiony, probably an extra fine. And finally, the world famous Pierre Gustafson test. For all of its faults, I think it kept up with that very well. So, uh, you know, I do the part of this video with me talking later. I'll be uh, curious to see my feelings on this pen. Uh, one thing I'm just noticing, it doesn't snap to cap. It just kind of mushes on, which I've never liked. You know, if, it, if you're going to do a snap cap, I like it to snap. So, to this day, I don't know if the barrel has a cartridge stuck in it that I just can't get out. I, you know, I look up at it, it doesn't look cartridgey, but I don't know. Or if the barrel has, it's just designed for converter or for cartridges only and you're not supposed to use a converter. I can't decide. And uh, without uh, risking some probing and damaging, which could, what could be part of the pen, I, so I am going to use the pen some more. Uh, I'll refill it, you know, this cartridge with a, a nice squirt of something uh, using a hypodermic, and uh, we'll see how it goes. But, you know, overall, the pen's okay. It's nothing special. Uh, I appreciate that they made the effort to make the threads be plastic on plastic, but uh, in the end, it's just not that special of a pen. <laughs> not bad, just not great. It's just, meh. It's okay, you know, damning it with faint praise or however they say that. So, uh, anyway, I will keep you updated if I figure out about this thing up the barrel. But, you know, just looking at it from here, it's the wrong kind of shine to be the end of a cartridge. So, I don't know. If I, if I could unscrew this end fin finial, I might uh, get braver, but... This could be one of those converter cartridge only pens. So we'll see. But anyway, I hope that was interesting. Hope it was useful and it was kind of fun to go back to my roots in the Central Europe. And I want to thank you for watching. Talk to you later. Bye bye.